Australia's Royal Australian Air Force is significantly enhancing its maritime surveillance and intelligence capabilities through the acquisition of the MQ-4C Triton Unmanned Aerial Vehicle under Project Air 7000 Phase 1B. As of June 2025, this high-altitude, long-endurance platform, developed by Northrop Grumman, is poised to become a cornerstone of Australia's defense strategy in the Indo-Pacific. With two Tritons delivered and a total of four on order, the program represents a $2.777 billion investment in advanced technology, regional security, and local industry. Despite its strategic importance, the deal has sparked debate over cost-effectiveness and the prioritization of high-cost platforms over emerging drone technologies. The MQ-4C Triton program reached a pivotal milestone in June 2024 with the delivery of Australia's first Triton, designated AUS-1, to RF Base Tyndall in the Northern Territory. This event marked a significant step toward bolstering the RAF's intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities across vast maritime domains. The second Triton arrived in early 2025, further advancing the program's timeline. Both aircraft are set to be operated by the reformed No. 9 Squadron, based at RF Base Edinburgh, South Australia, with ground control systems managed by a five-person crew. Australia has committed to acquiring four Tritons, with the fourth ordered in 2023 for approximately $350 million, bringing the total project cost to $2.777 billion. This investment includes $900 million allocated to Australian industry for constructing facilities, integrating networks, and providing engineering and sustainment services, fostering local expertise and job creation. While initial plans envisioned a fleet of seven Tritons, budget constraints and strategic reviews under the 2024 National Defense Strategy scaled back the order. Though future acquisitions remain a possibility depending on fiscal and security priorities. The Triton's development has been marked by rigorous testing and validation. On November 9, 2023, the first Australian Triton completed its maiden flight at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale Aircraft Integration Center in California. The six-hour, 24-minute flight tested critical systems, including engines, flight controls, and fuel management, confirming the aircraft's readiness for delivery in 2024. Designed for missions exceeding 24 hours and covering over 1 million square nautical miles, the Triton is equipped with a 360-degree ANZPY-3 multifunction active sensor radar, enabling comprehensive maritime surveillance. Its capabilities extend beyond traditional ISR, supporting tasks such as targeting for long-range missiles, disaster response, search and rescue, and monitoring illegal activities like piracy or unregulated fishing. The platform's interoperability with U.S. Navy Tritons, facilitated through a cooperative development program, enhances joint operations, particularly in contested maritime regions like the South China Sea. This alignment underscores Australia's commitment to strengthening alliances, including the AUKUS partnership and broader U.S.-led frameworks in the Indo-Pacific. Strategically, the Triton complements the RAF's 12 PAA Poseidon aircraft, forming a family of systems for maritime dominance. In 2023, a $1.5 billion deal was announced to upgrade the Poseidon fleet, ensuring seamless integration with the Triton's advanced sensors and data sharing capabilities. Together, these platforms enable Australia to monitor its northern and western approaches, safeguard critical sea lanes, and support freedom of navigation operations in a region marked by rising geopolitical tensions. The Triton's ability to operate at high altitudes for extended periods provides persistent surveillance, offering a strategic advantage in detecting and responding to potential threats. Its role extends to humanitarian missions, such as coordinating disaster relief in the Pacific, and economic security by protecting Australia's maritime trade routes. The program aligns with the 2024 National Defence Strategy, which emphasizes deterrence and regional stability amid concerns over China's maritime assertiveness 
and other regional challenges. Despite its strategic value, the Triton program has faced scrutiny from defense analysts and policymakers. Michael Shoebridge, a prominent Australian defense expert, has criticized the acquisition of the fourth Triton, arguing that its high cost makes it a suboptimal investment in an era of constrained budgets. He advocates redirecting funds towards smaller, more affordable UAVs, such as those employed effectively in conflicts like Ukraine, which offer flexibility and resilience in modern warfare. This critique reflects broader debates within Australia's defense community about balancing advanced, high-cost platforms with emerging, cost-effective drone technologies. The Triton's price tag, coupled with a 2024 Auditor General report highlighting cumulative delays in 20 major defense acquisitions, has intensified calls for fiscal discipline. Critics contend that the program's long development timeline, initially approved in 2018, may limit its adaptability to rapidly evolving threats, particularly as adversaries invest in counter UAV technologies. Northrop Grumman remains committed to delivering the remaining Tritons, with production supported by a $543 million U.S. contract modification in November 2023, covering units for both Australia and the U.S. Navy. The third and fourth Australian Tritons are in production, with completion expected by late 2025, ensuring the RF achieves full operational capability on schedule. Social media activity on X highlights the delivery of three Tritons to Australia, with the fourth under construction in Mississippi, reflecting positive sentiment about the program's progress. However, these posts also note competition from General Atomic's MQ-9B Sea Guardian, which is vying for contracts in markets like Norway, underscoring the competitive landscape for maritime UAVs. Northrop Grumman's ability to meet delivery timelines and integrate Australian industry partners has bolstered confidence in the program, with over 55 local suppliers contributing to sustainment and infrastructure development. The Triton's operational integration will require ongoing investment in training, maintenance, and cybersecurity to protect its advanced systems from potential vulnerabilities. RAF-based Tyndall's role as the Triton's primary operating hub necessitates upgrades to runways, hangars, and communication networks, while our RAF-based Edinburgh's control facilities are being modernized to support remote operations. These infrastructure projects, funded through the $900 million industry allocation, are expected to generate economic benefits in South Australia and the Northern Territory. The program's success will also depend on seamless coordination with the U.S. Navy, which operates a growing Triton fleet in the Pacific, and potential collaboration with other allies, such as Japan, which has expressed interest in similar platforms. Looking ahead, the MQ-4C Triton program positions Australia as a leader in maritime surveillance, enhancing its strategic posture in a volatile Indo-Pacific. However, its long-term viability will hinge on addressing cost concerns, adapting to technological advancements, and aligning with evolving defense priorities. The 2024 Integrated Investment Program, which guides Australia's $65 billion air domain spending over the next decade, will likely influence decisions on additional Triton acquisitions or complementary UAV platforms. As the RF prepares to operationalize its full fleet by 2025, the Triton's ability to deliver persistent, actionable intelligence will be critical to Australia's national security.